You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. There are so many students who don't always know what civil engineering discipline to choose when applying for college, and then when it comes time to take their FE exam. They battle even more at that point that they might not have chosen the right discipline, maybe one that doesn't fit your interest or your personality. Therefore, we thought it would be helpful to start a series explaining each of these five civil engineering disciplines to kind of give you a better idea of what to expect both in your studies and when preparing and deciding on which FE exam to take. Now, in the previous video, we discussed the geotechnical engineering discipline, which you can find right here on our playlist called Civil Engineering Disciplines. And in this video, we will discuss the roles, responsibilities, and credentials needed to become a civil construction engineer, which might also be referred to as simply a construction engineer. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Before we get started, I just want to mention, especially for those of you who already took the FE exam or you're getting close to taking the exam and are thinking of taking the civil PE exam as your next step, we did a complete series on our Pass the PE Exam YouTube channel about each of the five different PE civil depth exams in detail, explaining the topics covered on each of the exams and what the passing rates are for each topic. You can check them out on our Pass the PE Exam YouTube playlist at youtube.com forward slash at Pass the PE Exam. It's called Civil Engineering Disciplines, How They Show Up in the PE Exams. So let's start by defining what civil construction is. Civil construction is the creation of infrastructure involving everything to do with water, earth, or transport. It is a branch of civil engineering involved with the maintenance, design, and construction of environments such as roadways, railways, buildings, water reservoirs, subdivisions, airports, bridges, sewer systems, tunnels, and dams. The civil construction industry consists of the individuals and companies involved in the planning, creation, and design of our infrastructure, and there's a lot of it. Civil construction truly shapes the world around us, and with the new technology that is increasing productivity, civil construction projects can now be done faster with quicker construction schedules. Everything from massive bridges for transportation to walkway construction, as well as wastewater treatment centers to dams. The civil field encompasses some of the most essential building projects that are completed in our world each and every year. The sector truly helps humans get where they want to be in addition to finding what they need. Civil projects are usually classified under the umbrella of civil engineering instead of being considered a branch of construction. I know that's a little confusing, but it kind of all falls under civil. Now, this is because the need for extensive planning and coordination between a variety of engineers and design specialists before any construction can begin. So when you think of construction, you think civil engineering, they've got to put it all together, right? Civil construction companies do more though than just build structures, right? They also manage natural and existing environments like water reservoirs, hillsides, and mountain ridges, in addition to other areas that interface with human-made infrastructure. Contractors bidding on civil projects need to know about grading, erosion control, access rights, public impact, legal regulations, and much more so they can understand what's really involved in any 
given request. This is why this is such an exciting part of the industry. Now, if a civil construction company can't handle every step themselves, they have to be able to subcontract the additional steps out properly. Now, you might wonder about the type of work you will do and what your tasks will look like on a daily basis as a civil construction engineer. So let's take a look. There are many tasks performed in the industry, including the planning, creation, and maintenance of public infrastructure. And today, there's a lot of investment in infrastructure, right? Anything that will make the lives of people easier. So some common worker tasks might include adhering to the guidelines created by the government, local bodies, and clients when you're planning, creating, and maintaining infrastructure. You've got to be able to read and follow guidelines. Tendering contracts and hiring contractors, right? A lot of interaction. Creating cost estimates and budgets. I hope you're good in math. Creating infrastructure design plans and having these plans approved by governing bodies and local authorities. So you got to be able to get things through to get your projects approved. Studying, evaluating, and investigating the land and building sites suitable for possible creation of infrastructure. You're going to have to find areas where we can build. Corresponding with governments, clients, and other professionals, right? Sometimes people say, hey, you don't got to be a good speaker as an engineer. Yes, you do. You need to be a great communicator. And also supervising and monitoring the construction of the infrastructure to ensure it matches the plan that you designed. They got to build it like you designed it, and you have to make sure that they do that. Next, let's talk about the type of projects that you might work on. Civil construction often involves structures like city halls or public libraries, but can also take design and construction to a whole nother level. Some of the larger projects handled by the civil sector include earthwork projects like capping landfills, reshaping flood prone areas, and building new levees, right? You're saving lives with these projects. Bridges, from basic roadway crossings to massive bridges. Canals and river stabilization or widening projects from both shipping and recreational goals. Wastewater treatment plants, holding tanks, settlement ponds, and other essential processing structures. Again, very important to people's lives. Railroads, including tracks for light rail, high speed, and streetcar systems, which are growing in popularity. How about airports, ports, and other major transportation hubs? We gotta keep people moving. Dams and corresponding reservoir tanks or lakes, including systems designed for power generation. And roadways, ranging from simple level residential streets that you see all over the place to complex overpasses and tunnels around the world. Lastly, let's take a look at some of the credentials that can assist you in becoming a construction engineer. A bachelor's degree in civil engineering, civil engineering technology, or something similar. State approved license. At least two years of experience as a construction engineer in the relevant field of specialization. Advanced proficiency in construction management software. Some examples might be BuildSmart, another one's called Smartsheet. In-depth knowledge of construction industry regulations. You've got to know what's going on in the industry and what standards you're held to. Exceptional leadership, project management, decision making, and problem solving skills. These skills will differentiate you. Great mathematical, organizational, and time management skills. Got to keep projects on track. Excellent written and verbal communication skills. How are you going to communicate with people? The ability to collaborate with a variety of stakeholders. We deal with a lot of different people. And your availability to visit the construction sites, maybe even outside of business hours when needed. Sometimes we need to work overnight. There you have it. If you like what you heard, and I know there was a lot, and you can see yourself working in this specific field, then the civil construction discipline might be the right one for you. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we'll answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.